All right, everybody, it's the end of March. Uh, we're getting ready for spring, and we're going to be uh, installing a swing set here in a couple of weeks in our backyard. But uh, we've got a gently sloping backyard, and so uh, in preparation for this swing set, I'm going to be leveling a small portion of my backyard and uh, filling it in with uh, some material. And so what I'll be doing today is I'll be uh, starting that process. Um, I've got... Uh, landscape timber here, just one timber that I'm going to be using as a guide for for measuring uh, part of the yard. Uh, some other tools I'll be using, this is not the complete list of tools, but some other things I'll be using would be a mallet, a bubble level, gloves of course, some of that garden mulch film eventually to, to lay it down uh, once things get leveled, and uh, some wooden stakes, and some string. So uh, the first thing I'll be doing is I'll be marking off the area so let's get started okay so here's a little bit little way through step one I've started leveling uh, this patch from the, uh, the the highest elevation the upward slope it's higher up here and it slopes away from the house the house is right there um, so it kind of slopes away so I started uh, clearing away the, the grass a little bit and then digging a Actually, first I staked out, uh, this is going to be 8 foot by 8 foot, and 8 foot by 8 foot square, and I staked out the square, and then I, I uh, just kind of dug a little trench, going all the way around, not very deep, just enough to break up the grass, and then up here I just started digging the, the deeper trench where it's going to go, um, so this is about as deep as it's going to be right here, and it's a full 6 inches, maybe 8 inches, uh, deep into the ground up here but obviously since it's sloping away it's going to be a lot shallower by the time we get down here um, so Howdy folks, it's Lee again, and we're resuming uh, work in the yard. Got some more landscape timbers here, kind of leveled them off. Uh, now comes the, uh, the arduous process of making sure they're all level. You can see the bubble level over there. Uh, I've got some gaps, like right underneath that board, right there that I need to fill in. So I'm just going to be spending a little bit of time making sure these boards, these baseboards, are all level. These are uh, four inch by four inch landscape timbers, eight feet each. I've already spent some time in the garage pre-drilling them for the rebar. You can see one hole right there for the rebar. I'm going to, the rebar is uh, 24 inches, so two feet, uh, one half inch rebar, and I used a five eighths inch drill bit. So a drill bit that's slightly larger than the rebar so that they can drive in there pretty easily. Um, and you can see I've got these holes drilled at regular intervals and I measured them so that I can drive the rebar through uh, uh, a stack of two boards so the rebar will stick out uh, about three and a half four inches from these baseboards so that I can attach uh, a second layer of timbers to the rebar you'll see that in a little bit but I just wanted to give you a little update I'm moving quite a moving along pretty well uh, it's been raining the last couple days and so this dirt is really uh, muddy and heavy and I'm getting more of a workout than what I uh, signed up for but it's just exercise right so check back with you. all right folks so we're just about ready to drive the first set of rebar in like I said I pre-drilled some holes these are about five eighths inch holes and half inch rebar two feet tall I'm gonna drive it in to where it's just about 
four inches or so above the board because I'm going to stack another board that I pre-drilled uh, that's supposed to line up correctly with these holes. I'm going to stack it onto this rebar. So this is the rebar. I've got a sledgehammer and now let's start pounding some rebar. Alright folks, so I've uh, staked down all the boards, got all the timbers staked down with some rebar and then also some uh, uh, spikes, some timber spikes and everything is pretty level on the inside. I've got a little bit of uh, additional uh, dirt to add to fill in a couple of holes but uh, that'll all get leveled. Um, and right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of backfilling around the outside edges here so that uh, there aren't any huge gaps. Like right here, I'm just kind of backfilling around the outside. Um, I'll probably mound up that dirt right there so that uh, it's level and even with that, uh, that board back there. But um, it's coming along nicely. I'm gonna lay down some landscape cloth or some, uh, some of that tarp and then we're gonna I'm going to go to a supply store and either buy some wood mulch or some sand or some pea gravel, whichever one strikes me. Well, I'll figure it out, but I'll lay something down and then that'll be it. And then it'll be time to build the, the swing set and then we'll be done. So just wanted to give you a little status update. It's coming along. Later. All right, so I've laid down and tacked down a weed liner. There it is. Now I'm gonna go get some fill. Like I said, sand, pea gravel, wood chips. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. I'll let you know. All right, catch you later. All right, everybody. I just got back from getting some pea gravel. Pea gravel it is. And so uh, here we are, I filled it in. It's about half a cubic yard and it's nice and level. So we are finished with this portion. Now all we gotta do is wait for the swing set to get built. Check back with you later. Thank you.